Optradam is the first rubber dam to be available in hygienic disposable packaging. To remove it, peel the transparent part off the white part starting from the marking. Optradam is available in two sizes, regular and small. Selecting the correct size is very important to ensure unrestricted function and perfect fit during treatment. Impression tray sizes may be used as guidance. Select Optradam size regular for impression tray sizes M and L. For impression trays sized S, select the size small. For ease of locating the upper and lower side, the Ivoclar Vivident Company logo is printed on the Optradam. To facilitate the punching process, the dental arches are already pre-printed. To ensure clean cut margins, apply maximum pressure when using the punch forceps. This will help to prevent tearing at a later stage. In addition, a dotted line is pre-printed, which may be used as a guide when cutting an optimum slip for breathing and suction. A slip for breathing is only required if, for whatever reasons, the patient is unable to breathe through the nose. A slit for suction is only required if excessive saliva accumulates. To suck up processing material and spray water, place the small aspirator behind the left or right cheek into the deepest point of the bag, where it is automatically removed. To suck up saliva behind the optradam, introduce the small aspirator through the slit and apply brief suction intermittently on the left and right side. Optradam consists of a three-dimensional bag and an intraoral and an extraoral ring. The intraoral ring is placed on the closed and the extraoral ring on the open side of the optradam. The closed side of the optradam will later be located in the patient's mouth and the open side will be outside. Hold the optradam in your left hand with the opening towards the right side. Grip the intraoral ring with the fingertips of the right hand directly through the opening and compress it completely. It is important to completely compress the intraoral ring until it touches itself and until two wings spread sidewise at the closed side. Now the dam can be placed in four simple steps. During the first step, one of the two wings is placed as deeply as possible behind the first corner of the mouth. If this first placement is not deep enough, you will run out of space when placing the other side. In the second step, place the second wing behind the second corner of the mouth. This can be achieved with or without using a mirror as an aid. In the third step, the intraoral ring is placed in the fold behind the upper lip. To achieve this, bring the extraoral ring to the level of the vermilion border and ask the patient to slightly close his or her mouth. In most of the cases, the intraoral ring will then slip into the fold by itself. In the fourth and final step, the intraoral ring is placed in the fold behind the lower lip. The Optradam sits now perfectly in the fold, ensuring an ideal fit during treatment as well as during opening and closing of the mouth. To ensure that the Optradam is placed well in the patient's mouth, two points have to be observed. First, the intraoral ring and the dental arch must have the same degree of bending. Second, the intraoral ring has to be advanced as deeply as possible right through the posterior molars. 
if the intraoral ring is not bent enough and the optradam is located too much to the front of the patient's mouth, neither a good fit nor an automatic retention without clamps can be ensured. Whenever necessary, you can insert the optradam more to the left or right side so that terminal molars can be treated without additional fixation. To isolate the individual teeth, slip the interdental septa of the optradams through the contact points between the teeth, initially without the aid of dental floss. This is much easier than trying to put the holes over the individual teeth. To simplify the process, slightly pull the septa with the index finger of the one hand in the direction of the fold and hold it on cervical level. Using the other hand, now pull the septa in a lingual direction and through the contact point. Thanks to the three-dimensional shape of the optradams, it automatically stays in position in most of the cases without the help of additional stabilization elements. Now, using the same method, continue to pass one septum after the other through the contact points. For enhanced fixation and overview, we recommend that you expose not only the tooth to be treated, but also some adjacent teeth on both sides, even in case of single-tooth procedures. Once all septa have been slipped through the contact points, you can use dental floss to advance the optradam even deeper into the interdental spaces if you think this is necessary. In case of more deeply located cavities and to achieve perfect dryness, the optradam can be placed deep in the sulcus using a spatula if necessary. Because of the automatic pull in the fold, the optradam stays automatically in the sulcus and ensures very good dryness. In rare cases, this automatic retention around the tooth may not be sufficient. Under such circumstances, wet jets can offer additional stability. Wet jets are highly elastic cords which ensure additional stabilization in interdental spaces in a gentle way. To position them, the wet jets are stretched and advanced beyond the contact points similar to dental floss and placed in the interdental space. On releasing the tension from wet jets in the interdental space, these gain back their original shape, resulting in an automatic additional fixation of the optradam. Thanks to the optradam's three-dimensional shape and high flexibility, X-rays can in most cases be taken with the optradam in place, for example during endodontic treatments. To remove the wet jets, stretch them and cut them as closely to the tooth as possible. In this way, the wet jets can subsequently be removed with the forceps with great ease. For the following easy removal of the optradam, pull the interdental septa with the forceps in a lingual direction out of the interdental space and cut them with the scissor. To remove the optradam, slowly pull the extraoral ring outwards until you can get hold of the intraoral ring and easily compress it horizontally. This facilitates subsequent removal. <laughs>